Each night, thousands of glowing stones light the way in the Dutch town of Nunen. The patterns and colors were inspired by The Starry Night, one of Vincent van Gogh's most famous paintings. The Dutch artist spent two years living and painting in Nunen. The Van Gogh path is the brainchild of Dutch artist and innovator Dan Rosegarde. It's linking local tradition. He walked these grounds not so long ago. And at the same time, it's sort of a hint towards a future which is hopefully more energy friendly, more safe, more poetic. The bike path doesn't need electricity to keep it shining bright, just lots of sunshine during the day. Each stone is polished and cocooned in a photosensitive coating, which Rosegarde developed with engineers from a road construction company. His art creates new technologies, too. Maybe that is the role of art and design, to question reality, to come up with new proposals, um, uh, and that a new generation accepts this as something completely normal. Rosegarde calls his art techno-poetry. For his Lotus project, he developed a smart foil that reacts to body heat. It only opens up if there's someone there to see it. Crystal's gem-like stones are touch sensitive. Whereas the light in his dune installation reacts to movement and sounds, creating interaction with people. Dune also promotes change and new ideas because these light rods are programmed to ignore constant repetition. So if I do a certain activity uh, continuously after a while, after a while it will start to ignore me. And then some people say, oh, it doesn't work anymore. We're like, no, 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 you have to do something different. Many roads could also do with something different. They look much the same as they did half a century ago. Don Rosagada wants to change that. Everyone is always focused on the car, but somehow the roads, the infrastructure, we leave behind. It should be cheap, maintenance-free, almost nobody cares. And that's weird because I think the road is the thing you see, is, is what you see while you're driving. Um, but it's also the thing that determines our landscape more and more. It's also the thing we leave behind for our next generation. This highway is built on a 32-kilometer-long dike that protects the Netherlands from flooding. The heavy concrete blocks which hold back the water are lit by just a few streetlights. Rosagarda wants to turn these blocks of concrete into glittering portals without using any electricity at all. He and his team have developed a new kind of paint. It contains tiny pearls which reflect light. This is the magic. Mm. We will have to kill you now. But, so these are the... <laughs> By the end of the year, it's hoped that the dike's concrete blocks and guardrails will be illuminated using only the reflected light from car headlights. But it's still a work in progress. When you make something, it's like a taste in your mouth. Eh? You do not know the ingredients. And then you start to, to read, to write, to cook, to test, eh? to, to make a mistake, to learn. It's always finding this balance between practical and more poetic agendas. And that's, uh, yeah, that's innovation, eh? learning by doing. And the results are truly illuminating.